Oh, yeah, that was, um, that was Jack Dewin. <sighs> yeah, it's not so bad. Finding a way of getting him and dad to Liverpool, though, that's a different matter. We're looking into renting somewhere, but it's just so... Expensive. Hey, hey, you know how some people have good things happen to them out of the blue and usually it's not me? Yeah? A thousand quids just dropped into mine and Sally's account. No reference, nothing, just a grand. Bang. Have you contacted the bank? No, because they'll make me give it back. I'm going to spend it before they notice. You do know it's a criminal offence not to declare it. Yeah, yeah, la, 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 la. I didn't come for sensible advice. I came to talk to him. What? Well, you've got a point. Well, I'm not going to pass this one up. And you, if your mum asks, it's a bonus from streetcars, innit? She'll only make me give it to charity. Why are you looking at me like that? Of course you can give it to Jack. Really? You mean it? Yeah. Like I said, it's free money anyway, innit? Oh, Tim, thank you so much. You're the best. I'm gonna go and tell my dad. Yeah, that's me. I'm the best. Huh? Tell you one excited, didn't you? Oh, he's a bit scary. Yeah, him, Oh, he is. Oh, there's a poster. I'm ready for one more. Hello. Hey, mate. You okay? I'm sorry I've not been able to come and see you sooner. Love. You know, your dad's bought every magazine in the shop again. I can see that. So, I have some good news. Tim has come into some money from the taxi business and he, um, he wants to help us out. I oh, see. It's the first time I've heard of it. Yeah, it's literally just happened. But that means that you're going to have a place to stay in Liverpool. That's brilliant, isn't it, Dad? Uh... Yeah, let's just slow down a little bit. We've not confirmed what's happening with the garage yet. Tyrone, come cover. He's just lost his mum. Abby's all over the shop. Look, let's just sort things out before we get too excited, yeah? Right. Oh, best thing magazine. Where's the rock? I love the rock. Oh, it's just somebody from the Gazette pestering me for an interview about this dumping mess. No, they still haven't found them. Ah, well, keep your chin up. The people that matter, they don't blame you for what he did. Oh, thank you, Kevin. Although you should be taking your own advice about not blaming people. They're, um, just running some tests on it. Does he want me? No, he's OK. He's even cracked a smile. Look, Soph, I'm, uh, I'm sorry. I've been a bit hard on you. It's OK. I understand. No, it's not. And if I've been a bit snappy, it's because... You blame me. No. Yes, you do. I heard you speaking to Auntie Gina. It's fine, Dad, I deserve it. No, you don't. And yeah, maybe I did at the beginning, but I was wrong. I suppose I was just... I was putting my guilt on you. Oh. It was just a horrible accident, that's all. We don't get anywhere by harping on about it. We need to move forward. Yeah. So, I'm gonna use Tim's money, and if you'll help us find a flat. Of course. And you'll come with us, won't you? Yeah. <laughs> come here. 